hello and welcome back to my channel if you're new or an og you are most welcome so today's video is a very special one i'm going to be sharing how i used two amazing hair growth products to make this amazing hair growth oil and also to make an amazing hair growth butter it is no myth that these two products work they really do it depends on how you use it so if this is the kind of video you think you'll be interested in then keep on watching first you're going to need fresh aloe vera aloe vera has so many active ingredients and minerals it is rich in fatty acid and amino acid it is also rich in vitamin a b12 c and e which helps to promote healthy hair next you're going to need some avocado avocado is a great source of biotin which helps hair to grow more healthily avocado contains antioxidants like potassium and magnesium so I transferred all my product into the blender because I'll be blending everything together. I'll also be using my olive oil to blend it. You can use any hair growth oil of your choice. You can use coconut, just use any carrier oil of your choice. Now that I'm done blending my product, this is what it looks like. This is just the beginning of the recipe, so just stick with me, guys. Next, you're going to transfer your blended product into your pan. So I decided to add more oil because I felt the oil I added wasn't enough. Next, you're going to proceed to frying. So we're going to fry it on that low heat. So while frying, you're going to keep stirring from time to time. Uh, for you to know that your product is ready, the oil is, is ready, you're going to see that separation from your blended product. You're going to see everything. You're going to see how it's going to look. Like I said, you're going to keep stirring from time to time so it doesn't stick to your pot. Another reason why avocado is good for your hair is because it helps to smoothen your hair and it adds shine. It also helps to prevent hair breakage. It is also no news that aloe vera significantly reduces the scaliness and itchiness as a result of dandruff and any other hair infection. Aloe vera also promotes hair growth, it reduces hair breakages and improves the overall health of your hair. Like I said, once it's ready, you will know as you can see everything is turning brown and my oil is already green. You can turn it off and let it cool. So because my oil was still very, very hot, it turned uh, my residue into this deep brown color, which is still not an issue because I know the integrity of my oil is still intact. Next, you're going to proceed to sieving. You can use any sieve of your choice, but this is what I like to use because this helps to sieve out the entire residue. You won't get to see much in your oil, so use whatever you have, but this works for me just fine. Once you're done sieving, you can use it just the way it is, but I decided to add a few more products. So like I said, I'll be using this oil to also make my hair growth butter, which I'll be sharing with you guys after making my hair growth oil. Guys, can you see how beautiful this color is? It has this deep green color, which is really cool. Next, you're going to proceed with your essential oils. You do not have to use all the oils that I am using, just use whatever you have, use whatever works for you. I also added some vitamin E oil which is really good, it helps your oil not to go rancid fast. Once you're done adding all your oils, you're good to go. You can transfer it into your storage container and you'll be good to go. But I decided to add one more thing into my oil, you guys are going to see it in a bit guys i just love the color i really really love the green color that it's given so i decided to add some rosemary so it can infuse while i use my hair growth oil rosemary helps to stimulate hair growth by increasing blood circulation to hair follicles it also helps to reduce scalp inflammation and pain and finally it also helps to treat dandruff and scalp irritation at this point i am done with my hair growth oil this is my end result like i said i'll also be making my hair growth butter with this oil so i'm going to show you the recipe in a bit 
but guys let's just take a moment to appreciate this oil i feel this oil is really really going to work if you're suffering from dry hair if you have a um, itchy scalp if you have dandruff if your hair is breaking then this oil is for you next let's proceed to our hair growth butter so our first product is going to be our shea butter i'll be adding about 40 grams of shea butter shea butter helps to uh, add shine it helps to reduce hair breakages and it also helps to moisturize your hair next we're going to be adding about 35 ml of our aloe vera and avocado oil next we're going to be adding about 16 grams of emulsifying wax this will help to bind your oil and water face together then i'll also be adding about 5 grams of my cetereal alcohol now that we're done with the oil phase, we're going to be making our liquid thickener. So I added 1 gram of xanthan gum. I'll also be adding 4 grams of glycerin. This will help mix it properly. This liquid thickener will help to create that viscosity uh, of your water. You guys are going to see it in a bit. So I also added about 145 grams of distilled water before introducing my liquid thickener into it you guys are going to see how my water is going to change how it's going to viscosify the moment i added my liquid thickener into it now that we're done with both our oil and water phase we're going to do the double boiling method to melt everything together we want both of them to have the same temperature you can also use your microwave to melt everything it's all up to you so this is what they all look like. This is our water and this is our oil. Now we're going to mix everything together. So because both are liquid are warm, it's going to look a bit fluidy at first, but the cooler it gets, the thicker it becomes. You guys are going to see how everything is going to change. So you're going to mix for about two to three minutes before you introduce the rest of your product like your preservative and other essential oils and also your local fragrance. So I'm using two types of preservative here. I'm using the liquid Jamal Plus and I'm also using the phenoxytanol. I hope I'm correct. So I added about six mils of both uh, preservatives. I also added my local fragrance just to give it that sweet smell. So you actually do not need to use the exact essential oils that I am using. You can use any one you have, use whatever you have, but these are all the essential oils that uh, I decided to use for this product. Once you're done adding all your oils, you're going to mix for additional two to three minutes. Like I said, the cooler it becomes, the thicker it becomes. So you guys are going to see how the viscosity is going to change as it gets cooler. So that's basically it for this butter. This is really, really good in case you're suffering from uh, uh, hair breakages, in case your edges are also breaking, in case you have thin edges, this is really good. This is something that will help your hair. It adds uh, shine, it adds moisture, it helps with dandruff. It is really, really good guys can you see the beautiful green color this is given this is given uh, like a mint green color which is really really cool in case you're worried that it's going to stain this is not going to stain at all i'm also going to be adding a clip where you guys will see me apply this to my hair i just came uh, out of the shower i just washed my hair without any product i decided to add this you guys are going to see a short clip uh, on that soon so I just decided to pair uh, the two products side by side so you guys will see how cool these products are looking. You guys should give this a try and let me know what you think in the comment section. Let me know if this is something you would like to try because this is really, really good. And before I sign out, guys, in case you're not subscribed to my channel, just do your girl a favor and hit that subscribe button down below. Also, hit the notification bell so you know whenever I upload a new video. I try to upload every Friday. 5 p.m nigerian time so do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and also like this video thank you so like i said this is me i just came out of the shower i just washed my hair i washed my hair in this chunky twist because i didn't want to take down my hair before washing so this is me showing you guys how um my hair is looking like and i'm also going to be applying this product to my hair uh yeah 
So my hair shrinks a lot. I always tell my friends that my hair is really, really shy, especially when it comes in contact with water, it tends to shrink back. Although I just came out of the shower, but guys, can you guys see how my hair bounces back the moment it comes in contact with water or anything that has uh, moisture? Well, that's it uh, on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then hit that subscribe button down below. Also hit the notification bell and also like this video this will help my video go a long way it will help youtube to push my video out there to people thank you thank you thank you so until next time please don't forget to stay safe see you in my next video bye